Hi, I'm Ira Cohen, Chief Data Scientist at Anodot. Today I'm going to talk about the different types of outliers or anomalies that we come across in analyzing time series data sets. Outliers are often visible symptoms of underlying problem in a business. Oftentimes these problems need to be identified and fixed quickly to get the business back on track. For example, suppose an e-commerce site has a pricing glitch. Someone mistakenly entered a price of $10 instead of $100 for a product. These type of typos happen all the time, and it's great for the consumers. As a result, customers are able to buy this expensive product for pennies on the dollar, and that's not good for the e-commerce site. An anomaly detection solution can reveal this problem rather quickly. An outlier data point indicates an unexpected spike in its sales, and deeper inspection can identify the underlying pricing error. So, when it comes to an outlier analysis, the first step is knowing what type of anomaly you're up against. Being able to accurately categorize outliers sharpens the focus of automated anomaly detection and yields much better results. So let's talk about the three categories that outliers fall into. The first one is called global outliers. What is a global outlier? Well, a data point or points are considered a global outlier if their values is far outside everything else in the data set. Think of it this way. Suppose a water pipe breaks in your neighborhood, causing your area's water consumption to go through the roof. Well, if you compare it to water consumption in all other days of the year, this would be a global outlier. But let's look at a global outlier in an actual business setting. Think about Zoom at the start of the pandemic. Within a matter of days, the number of people using Zoom spiked exponentially. That was a global outlier when you compare those numbers to their pre-COVID user base. This is the ultimate example of a global outlier in a business context. Any business would love that. The second category of outliers is contextual or conditional. A data point is considered a contextual outlier if its value deviates quite a lot from the rest of the data points that are in the same context. Note that the same value may not be considered an outlier if it occurs in a different context. For example, say that you live in a climate where your city gets snowstorms in the winter months. If a heavy snowstorm happens in the middle of summer, that would be considered a contextual outlier. The event is anomalous compared to the seasonal pattern where it typically snows in winter but not in summer. We also see contextual outliers in business. Consider a sudden surge in order volume at an e-commerce company in the middle of the night. It's a contextual outlier because you wouldn't expect this high volume to occur outside daytime. Could this rush of sales be due to a pricing glitch? Well, this scenario has actually happened several times with airlines that offer tickets flights at wildly discounted prices. Though the offerings were a mistake, the airlines usually honored the prices and lost significant revenues on those seats. And finally, there is the category of collective outliers. This one's a little tricky to explain. We see collective outliers when a group of data points within a larger data set is significantly different from the entire data set. But each data point on its own wouldn't be considered anomalous in either a contextual or a global sense. We often see this when two time series that are related to each other are combined into a single anomaly. For each time series, the individual behavior doesn't deviate significantly from the normal range. However, the combined anomaly indicates a bigger issue. A simple example is, illustrates this outlier. Suppose a whole block of people moved out of your neighborhood on the same day. This is a collective outlier because although individual households move out from time to time, it's very unusual that an entire block relocates at the same time. And now for a business case involving collective outliers. Imagine you're running an ad campaign. As your budget increases, you normally see an increase in both impressions and ad clicks. Suppose you increase your budget and you see the number of impressions increase, but you also see a decrease in the number of clicks. Neither the increase in impressions or the drop in the clicks is anomalous, but when they happen together, that means that you have an issue with your campaign. Perhaps the ad exchange is serving an empty ad, or you're serving to the wrong audience. This is a pretty common example of a collective outlier in the ad world. So whether it's a drop in application usage, a price glitch, or a glitch in a marketing campaign, outliers of all kinds exist all around us. It's important to detect them because of the impact they have on our day-to-day -day life and in business. Thank you. For more resources on machine learning-based anomaly detection, click the references below.